hey what's up YouTube this is Dan the fix-it man got another quick video here for you this is a 2005 Chevy Silverado and uh, we're gonna do a brake job on the back here but the uh, the owner is complaining of the brake pedal going all the way to the floor if you look on the inside of this wheel or this tire you can see that it's coated pretty well with brake fluid so I suspect it's the wheel cylinder and uh, we'll go ahead and take this apart get that drum off and uh, get that changed uh, we're gonna go ahead and change the brake shoes as well they've gone so far metal to metal that uh, they've blown out the wheel cylinder but uh, you'll notice there on the drum here on the body of the drum there are two threaded holes right here and what you can do is is find yourself two bolts you just as long as you have the same threads it doesn't matter uh, what type of bolt but so those just line up in here and you just go ahead and thread those in get them started and then this side as well and what you want to do is turn them little by little and as you do that you'll notice that it will start to push the drum off of the hub and off of those shoes because when you screw these in it'll pop and it'll pull that drum off of off of those shoes and off of this hub here you can see how how bad this one has gotten um, yeah, I mean it's very metal to metal the uh, all the brake lining is gone on this side um, this side as well it's really gouged uh, all the way down and uh, if you look at the inside of this drum uh, it's it's toast it's uh, it's grooved very bad and, and gone metal to metal so it's there's no saving that one okay to pull the brake shoes off a spring right here is the first one we're going to pull off um, now I've got a couple uh, I've, I've gathered a few tools over the years um, that come in handy this one right here this is a it looks like a, a screwdriver handle here but the end here is threaded and uh, there's a little a little notch right here if you can if you can see that and it comes in handy for holding on to things like a, like this spring for example if you just put it here and uh, thread that down it will clamp on I mean you could use vice grips or some other types of pliers but it's really nice to have this and it's grabbed on there and so it gives you a little bit of leverage so we're gonna pull this this direction and unhook this now this little adjuster tab uh, you can see that it's it's hooked on right there and we're just gonna take that off and set it down out of the way and same with this spring that, that's off completely we can set that out of the way as well and now this uh, adjuster right here we're going to go ahead and just pull out on the shoes just a little bit and that'll drop down out of the way again you just want to make note to the orientation of how that went in um, just to make sure that uh, you can put it back and put everything back the way that it was okay now you're going to want to take off this main big retaining spring and this is some if you just reach in there you can just pry it out uh, it's a very very stiff spring we can do the same thing over here there we go once you have that out uh, now this one this rear spring is where the you have the uh, the emergency brake or the parking brake cable is attached um, so we can get that out just got to pry it out from underneath this spring there we go and that's your front shoe that's trash this spring right here um, will just lift out it just sits on a little notch on the inside there it's kind of this W shape and we'll just set that aside okay so before we put the brake shoes uh, back on I actually want to change out this wheel cylinder there, there's two bolts in the back and they're kind of a unique shape they've kind of got this uh, this star point or a hex type of head. Uh, let me see if I can show that to you. Uh, and then, you know, I just kind of went through all of my sockets and I found one that would fit. This happens to be a quarter inch. So there's just two, two of these bolts up at the top holding this wheel cylinder in and then the brake line itself. Okay, so again, half inch wrench to get back here there's just one brake line and that's holding this wheel cylinder in and got that loose 
I loosened that before I took off the bolts. It's a little bit easier. And there you go. There's your wheel cylinder. And this one's trash. And uh, you need to grab the new one and put that on. There's our new wheel cylinder. So it's got this little cap. You want to pull that out. And we'll go ahead and get that brake line attached. Two little mini bolts here that go into the back. And those are, again, those little star head things. And we'll go ahead and put those in. Now we just want to tighten up those bolts with a wrench on there. And the brake line in the back is a half inch. So you just want to tighten that up as well. Now I've got the new shoes here. And uh, what I'm seeing is they have the emergency brake lever um, on them already. Let me see if I can show that to you. W along with this, this spring. And so the cable on the inside, we will just have to take that out. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so to disconnect this parking brake cable, it's kind of tricky, but as long as you get it down here and out of the way, and again, this is still attached to the shoe, but there's a little, I don't know how well you can see, this is the end of that uh, cable. It's got a little head on it, and there's a little spring here. If you pry it down and pry the head down at the same time, it's actually not too bad. It should just pop out. There we go. Okay, so you just take off this coil spring. And so there's your old shoe. We'll take that off and, and get that out of the way. Now here's the new one. Uh, so this has got the same type of spring with the uh, parking brake lever. And putting it in is a little tricky, but uh, it's really just the same as taking it off. Now you'll notice I have a pair of um, needle nose vice grips clamped onto that cable. Because if you don't do that, then the cable will actually, uh, when you're trying to push the, this back on, it will it will push um, push away from you, and it'll shorten and give you give you less space, less less room to work. So we'll just go ahead and do the same thing here. We just kind of push it, compress that spring, and uh, we might have to use a screwdriver here to to press this receiver spring down. Okay, there it goes. Uh, that took me a little longer than I had hoped, and it's in there. You can see the head of the cable is in there. Now we can put the brake shoes back in place. First we're going to start with this W-shaped spring, and it's pretty easy. Actually, I want to make sure that this parking brake cable is up where it's supposed to be. There's a little ledge in the back, and you want to make sure that that's up above. And then you can slide this spring back in. We'll start with this one here and we'll just kind of pull on that and line this up. Let's see if we can get that to line up. Okay, now for the front shoe here. Same thing, you just want to pull this spring out while you line up the shoe on the bottom. And then you're going to need to pry that one on as well. And there we go. That's uh, That one's kind of a pain, but just takes a little bit of prying. Now you want to be careful here. You don't want to damage the wheel cylinder, so you want to make sure that you can get this lined up and in those slots there. Okay, now that you have the shoes in place and the bottom spring on, you want to make sure that you, uh, you get your, um, your adjustment rod here, I guess it would be called. It's, it's got the, uh, the star wheel uh, adjustment here. And then what you're going to want to do is thread this in quite a ways. Now I've cleaned this and put a little bit of lithium grease on the end uh, on an inside here on the threads just to make sure that that, uh, that moves the way it should, moves freely so that uh, your brakes will adjust as you drive. And uh, now that we've got that set, we'll go ahead and set this in place. It's going to go right in here. And if you remember, we had one spring and that adjuster tab. So this this adjuster, a uh, little adjustment tab that hooks into the star wheel here. Just remember, you want to make sure that that hooks around this plate or around that little fork there at the end of that adjustment rod and then over this little stud. And then this hooks into this hole in your brake shoe. And again, what I used is, you can use needle nose 
vice grips or whatever to hang on to this and give you some some leverage but I like to use this tool here just kind of thread that down hook it in there and then we'll we'll go ahead and pull that and you can see it hooks right there and then we can take this tool off now since we're replacing the drums here uh, when they come from the auto parts store they've got usually a, a little oily coating on them just use some brake cleaner spray the inside here and some paper towels to kind of wipe that out that gets rid of most of that residue now I'm also gonna spray all the brake shoes and everything that I was working on Good idea to put down some cardboard or something to catch all this junk as it falls down. There we go. And then we can go ahead and put the new drum on. There we go. And in this case, since we replaced the wheel cylinder, you're going to want to bleed the brakes there. Now as soon as, the, as soon as you get those brakes bled, what you're going to want to do is adjust this. Um, you're going to reach in from that back slot with the brake adjustment tool. But, uh, that slot right there, what you're going to want to do is, is put a, a screwdriver, or again I've got this brake adjustment tool, and you're going to put that in the back, and you're going to turn that star wheel, you'll hear it click. Now you don't want to turn that too far, but you'll notice the drum still moves here on the shoes. I'll actually put the wheel back on and tighten that to where you can, when the car is in neutral and up off the ground, you'll be able to spin that wheel two full revolutions before it stops. And that's pretty much everything. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this video helps somebody out and uh, good luck.